Welcome everybody to Indigo Park. This just dropped. I just finished a recording of another game and then this came out and I was like, I may as well just jump onto this and record this too. Been following Uni Geese and seeing what he's been up to. And yeah, this is looking really promising and I'm just going to jump right in. Interesting opening. I have subtitles turned on, but I noticed that there wasn't any subtitles there. Do you never search this week when you come with me? Last few times have sucked. Remember the old theme park in Digger Park? Okay, so it seems like a bunch of kids decided to go and check out an abandoned place, maybe? Uh, bird up. <laughs> like a park sudden closure. This intro is really promising. The quality is pretty good. Indigo Park. Chapter 1 Birds of a Feather. Um, but so far, I'm honestly pretty proud of Unique Geeks. Um, I know that he's done a few projects and different things, um, but not really a whole lot of full-on game development. I remember that um, when he made Garden of Bandman Reincarnated, I think that was his, like, his first um, try at making a game. And then... He immediately wanted to work on an actual project of his own. But then he like he got a team together and all that, and Indigo Park was born. And I'm 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 happy for him. Oh, we got a little fox dude out there. Oh, found a collectible. Visit an information kiosk for more information. So there's collectibles. Can I pick you up, little crocodile thing? Little crocodile doodad. Ah, oh, resolution scale is at fifty. 100%. Okay, that kind of fixed the problem that I was having. Like, I kind of felt like the texture quality looked a bit low. But by default, it was set to 50, so putting it to 100 seems to kind of fix that problem I was having. So that's good. Hi there, oh. and welcome to Indigo Park! Hey. The world's most innovative and engaging family fun experience! Jump into the world of your favorite character! <laughs> Wait! You're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds. That's a lot of days. I'm Rambly. Rambly the Raccoon. Hello, Rambly. And it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be. Just hop on over to the registration center to your left, where our friendly assistant <laughs> will help you begin your adventure in the park. Uh, I love that he pointed right and then <laughs> corrected himself to the left. <laughs> That's a cute little detail. I've seen the footage of Rambly, and it looks like there's a lot of personality with Rambly. Hi, I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is registered. Let me just get a good look at you. Hmm, you don't seem to have your face in our guest list. Is this your first time here at the park, or did you just get plastic surgery? No worries, it's Rambly Tuesday, so you qualify for a big discount on your visit. Just follow me but, to the main gate. But I'm recording this on a Saturday. You see everything Indigo Park has to offer. What? But I'm recording this on a Saturday, and it's here with charged guests on Saturdays. I'm recording this on a Saturday, Rambly. It's not Tuesday, it's Saturday. <laughs> also, I liked how the webcam there turned on when he said he wanted to get a good look at me. That. It's like little tiny things like that I can appreciate. Is it the main gate? Up. The gate is open. Head on into the entryway. That doesn't look very open to me. Hmm. Hold on. My mistake. The gate is not open. Okay. <laughs> seems to be an error message being sent from the gate's power unit. Lucky you! 
you get to be the first person to try our turn on the generator mini ramble adventure. Have fun! Oh, I do love me a nice miniature adventure. So I guess I have to follow, follow the thing, follow the wire to the generator. The Indigo Violet Compact Power Generator, but it seems to be inoperable. Looks like it's missing a piece. Can you find it? Oh, there we go. I found a gear. Time to put that in the thing, and then we can push that lever, pull it. Oh, that's better. We got more light. This outside part already gives some bonus points to this game in terms of atmosphere and stuff. I always kind of just like starting outside of a building and going into it just because it adds a bit of world building, I guess. Like, uh, I feel like maybe I've been a little bit too... Uh, what's, what's the phrase I'm looking for? I feel like I feel like I've experienced too many like of these mascot horrors where you just get tossed right into the building that it's in, and it doesn't feel like there's an outside world. So like starting outside of the building and going into it just cements more of there being like an actual world out there, which I like more. Uh, Critter Corner, I think, is where we're going. No. Guest needs a critter cuff. Ah, let's go here. Access to reserve areas, charge payments to your room, and wear a critter cuff. I think there's some in the gift shop. Head in there, and I'll get you set up. Okay. Gift shop. Ah, here we go. Critter corner. Enter here. Can't do that. I would like. Go, buddy. Your very own critter cuff. A new way to interact with the park that also doubles as a pedometer, heart monitor, and moon ray. Data disclosure agreement included. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the indigo merch. I mean, I would kind of... That, I mean, I'd kind of get that t-shirt, to be honest, if it was like an actual shirt. I wonder if it actually is. <laughs> I, I would like the... I would like the big rambly, please. I have enough tokens. <laughs> Uh, let me get this ring. It's right here. Nice. We got ourselves the thing. Let's go. Hey, That was a Rambly, and then there's the dude. Good old Rambly and the dude. This place really is run down. Looks like lots of rubble. Sorry, it's, it's like... Something obviously must have happened here to cause, like, this kind of level of decay and destruction. Oh, I wanted to look at those posters. Maybe I can in a second. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Molly McCaw's rooftop races. All aboard Ramblies. Come make Finley at the Oceanic Odyssey. That's a big boy. We got some woman's restroom in the men's restroom. Now, am I a boy or a girl? That's that's the question. I don't know. I'm going to guess by going in here. Anything hidden in here? I, I appear to be a vampire. <laughs> I can't see myself in the reflection. <laughs> Pardon our dust, buddy. Looks like the park is going through some... Renovations. For the inconvenience, your Rambly Tuesday discount will be three percent off. Why not celebrate this great deal with a ride on my railroad? To test your Rambly. skills, I'll let you find this one all by yourself. Rambly free is not a percentage. <laughs> I swear to God, they're going to charge me at the end of this. <laughs> Rambly is railroad. Is there? Was there any collectibles back here? Um, I couldn't quite see any. Oh, I saw that. The facial data suggests you may be a bit older than the target audience for this ride, but it's one of my favorites. Do you know why Rambly the Raccoon loves Rambly's Railroad? Because I like trains. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. And there, that was cute. But I saw that tail. I, I saw that. They were. You can't. You can't trick me. Oh, well, we're gonna go onto the pilot train. Choo choo. Rambly's Railroads. Rambly's Railroad. I'm 
Conductor Rambly. <laughs> oh, okay. No, Rambly. Hello, oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, look! It's Molly McCaw! It's Molly McCaw! The greatest pilot you ever saw! You sure are, Molly. Why, you only crashed into six bars this week! <laughs> I guess uh, that explains all the rubble and shit. I bet it's just, I bet it's just her doing all that. It's her fault. <laughs> it's Molly's fault. That's my head cannon now. Ayo? My ride, Oceanic oh. Odyssey, <laughs> will teach you all about the wonders down under the deep blue sea. It's as blue as me. <sighs> I hope you'll visit. I'm so lonely. Oceanic Odyssey currently closed for repairs. Oh. I'm sure we'll see each other sometime. Oh, this is pretty decrepit. No, don't fade to black. Oh, okay. Get the ride back up and running. Don't worry, Rambly will fix you. Uh. Oh, there's a hidden area back here. Alright, I'm just gonna... You're going to get up. I bet you're gonna move. Oh, hello. How's it hanging, dude? Wait. Aha! Collectible. Why'd that, why'd that vaguely remind me of... Rugrats Lost in Paris on the PS1? Just the design of that helmet reminded me of, like, the items you could buy in that game. It's a weird comparison, I know. As oh, I did it hop back on the ride. Let me guess, you're gone. Oh no, you're still there. You averted my expectations. Hate line. <laughs> Do not shame me with that common folk name. I am the proud, the prestigious, the professional Lloydford L. Lion. Actor extraordinaire! Great act, Lloyd. Of course <laughs> Uh, that, that was amusing. <laughs> it's got a lot of, it's, it's, so far this has a lot of personality. I can I can appreciate that. Hey, oh, hold hold the phone. Hold, I see you there. You were following me, aren't you? It's like a tiny nitpick. I'm not sure what I think of like the texture for like these doors. Could they look like container boxes? I mean, it's fine. It works. Size large to extra extra large. I am a Double X large, I would take one of those, please. Look at this place. It's quite expensive. There's the moon. It is the moon. Oh, that's cool. I like how that's rotating around and spewing water out. Alright, where do we go? Old Alice's shakeups. Cherry, orange, strawberry peach. I could I I really could go with something orange right now. I've really been wanting to drink more like orange flavored water but over here i can just never find just orange flavored water it's always orange and mango orange and peach it's it's, it's frustrating man <laughs> oh, here we have bird up let's see so we have we have bird up we've got cola with an r at the end Ur soda maybe that's a reference to oh yeah youtuber <laughs> as well as bird up uh we got Dr. Muncher, which is like Dr. Pepper, we got, looks like 
Diet Cola. <laughs> diet Water? <laughs> that water is already kind of a diet. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Ah, oh, we've, we've found quite a few. So we got the raccoon figure. It's the only rambling the raccoon fraction figure. Molly plush. Finley plush. The rambly ears. Rambly plush and Lloyd plush. One, two, three, four. So six of us. Neat. Jetstream Junction. Wow, well, look at that! You're at Jetstream Junction! Oops! Looks like Jetstream Junction's being tuned up! Last I checked, there's a security office in the back of the theater. Maybe a friendly wrangler can help you get in! Orange level access granted. Okay. Find the key at Lloyd's main stage. Ah, main. I get it. Main stage, but a lion's main. The perfection performance. Lloyd live. Let's go. Oh. You okay there, Lloyd? You're looking a bit... Looking a bit... Down there. Just... Oh, I, I didn't even see him move. I was too busy looking at the, the rows to see if there's a cheeky hidden collectible. Because I would... Like, if I was making this, I would put a collectible just on a chair here. Very nice place, actually. Hey, buddy. I've got eyes all over the park, but I can't see anything behind the stage. If you're going back there, be careful. Your critter cop is not yet able to resuscitate you. You what? What do you mean? Ooh. Okay, that's neat. <laughs> Just a neat little Easter egg. Which is interesting. Haha, <laughs> I saw you pop in there. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky breaky. Okay, I hear you. I guess Lloyd is down here somewhere. Ah. A little like something I'd probably pick up. But I guess not. Oh, hello. Run away. Wait, are you gonna chase after me? Or I guess not. He looks kinda neat. Ah. Got the key. Use the key to unlock Jetstream Junction. Oh, he's on the move now. Oh, he's growling. He's a growly boy. Alright, let's go back and uh, unlock this Jetstream Junction place. Wait, I hear movement. Oh, what the? What? Okay. <laughs> I thought that I thought I got like killed there. <laughs> I guess that was supposed to happen. Wait. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit weird. I thought I got killed in that moment. My bad. Alright, oh, Jetstream Junction. And we go. Hey, why don't you check out Molly's rooftop races? Not far from here, and it's a great warm up before we get into the bigger rides. Just take it up at Molly's landing pad. Alright. I can do that, sir. Hello, Molly. Rooftop races. There's Molly's garage. 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 So there's the landing pad. Alright, let's go to the rooftop races. into the ride again. <laughs> Don't worry though, your pal Ramley has the repairman on speed dial. I'm guessing you can't get through. We're 
sorry. The number you have dialed has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. Say, why don't you check out Molly's landing pad? It's not far from here and it's a great cooldown after that exhilarating ride. Just take a down from Molly's rooftop races. All right, let's go there. Oh, hey, actually, there might be a secret in here. Oh. Rambly Rush. Oh, did I just find a secret game? I don't know, Molly's playing crash somewhere in Ramblyberry Woods. I better find her and make sure she's okay. Oh, dang, okay, we got a, we got a, we got a full on platformer in here. <laughs> Oh. oh, we can double jump. This is cool. But I wonder how long this is. I suppose this could be like a neat way of adding in like lore and stuff. Wait, is there something to the left of here? Nah, just a tree. Man, this this little bit here, I'm yet another PS1 like fort. I'm oddly thinking of the PS1 Jurassic Park Lost World game, like the first level. It's kind of like it's like 3D on a 2D plane for like the whole level, and I'm vaguely reminded of that. <laughs> Molly, what happened? Ugh. Hey, Rambly, I was flying through the woods, but suddenly I couldn't see a thing. There you go. Looks like my smoke screen made a crash right on target. Say, I should have known you were behind this, you shady skunk. Let her go. Nah. How's about I try my new potion on her instead? I'm tired of wasting it on squirrels. Look out. Oh dang, Shadow Molly. <laughs> Too slow, dumpster face. What did you do to her? Meet the new and improved Molly McCaw. Now with none of that friendship garbage stopping you from tearing you to pieces. I wonder what she really thinks of you now. Have fun finding out a boss fight time. Take that. Yeah, take that. Yeah, take that, bitch. Oh, crap. Can I Goomba stomp you? Bonk. A phase two? I. I was about to say I did it, but then I got assaulted by glitchiness. That was kind of cool. <laughs> oh. Oh, I found a thing. That was neat. Just little things like that. That's really cool. I knew to check here. Like, there's little opening rooms. Definitely got to be something hidden in there. Now here we are, the, the, the titular kitty play place kind of thing. Oh, I can move you around. I wonder if there's a... Oh, it'll... The light's turned off? Or was it just me? Okay, I'll turn you back. Um... Okay, maybe that was supposed to happen. <laughs> um, I could go in here. Oh, where am I supposed... Where am I supposed to go? Oh, hi. Hello. You looked a bit funky going up there, but... Um, I come in. Hello. Uh, how, uh... How you doing? Um, I'm doing fine. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm trying to go that way, and you're kind of blocking the way. I'm a coming. I'm a running into you. Yeah, that's why you better go back. <laughs> yeah, 
you better be leaving. <laughs> when you're trapped in the play place as a kid. Triangle. I hope I'm not supposed to be remembering these. Green triangle. Maybe I am. Bounce pad. Bounce pad. Green triangle, blue star. Green triangle, blue star. Yeah, you, you go away, burb. I could see that this bit was kind of inspired from what he didn't reincarnate. Re what he didn't reincarnate. Green triangle, blue star. Now, technically, I could just guess the other two. Let me see. Red circle? Or is it red square? Yellow circle. Yeah, oh, red star. Oh, okay, so it's not... I didn't even notice that one there. I was too busy being interested by the ball pit. <laughs> so it's not a case of it being all the different shapes. You're also a star. Ah, there we go. So I guess technically I could have guessed that. Theoretically. There's a, there's a long staircase and there's a big gap there. Hmm, okay. Well, there's only one way to go, and that's into the yellow pipe. We Got a button there, door there. Well, I feel like this might be a chase sequence here. It definitely feels like it's been building up to it, at least. Look to my left. Yeah, that's probably going to open up as soon as I go down there. Oh. Never mind, you were behind me. <laughs> you can't just teleport like that, that's cheating. <laughs> that's cool. Oh. Game kind of froze for a second now, I was too busy admiring the animation. You were caught by Molly McCall. Uh, bounce pad. Left. No thanks, I don't have a seat to stay in. So no thanks. <laughs> I assume this is the right way. I kind of timed the music pretty well there with that. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I wasn't too sure where the thing was making me go. Oh, I see. I didn't quite see that there. Go, go, go. Around the bend. This way. Well, I'm making pretty good tracks. Left. Oh god, you're catching up. Ah, help me, Rambly. I don't care, I'm coming in. Oh. That was a bit more violent than I thought that was gonna be. Can I pick up your head? Welcome to the Rambly's Wranglers Registered Room. Here we have plenty of amenities and... Uh, okay, okay. I can see in your facial tracking that you're scary, angry, upset. Transparency is an yeah. important part of our policy <laughs> here at Indigo Park, so I think we need to be honest about something. The park has been inactive for years, 
before he stopped showing up, just to the mask off sir. I just was so excited to see a visitor, and I wanted to be sure you were given the best experience possible. But I was confined to the entrance for so long, I didn't realize just how much this repair of the park is falling into. It's wasting all of your bloody time. Eh, sorry for the inconvenience. But, but, I have an idea. I have access to the repair documentation in my database. I just can't execute most tasks without authorization from a human user. You must have come here because the park matters to you too, right? Would you be willing to help me restore the park? Yes. I can see in your facial tracking data that you aren't opposed to this. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's get this place back in business. I like Rambly. I... <laughs> I was I was kind of thinking like I think it would be funny if like this head was a collectible. <laughs> it's like oh no the head came off collect the head <laughs> collectible found bizarre. Okay, welcome to the crew, rookie wrangler. Registered. Your first official job as one of Rambly's wranglers. Registered. Is to get out of the Rambly's wranglers. Registered. Room. <laughs> Head left towards the rookie wrangler. Registered. Security room <laughs> to set yourself free. All right, let's go. Kind of exhausting to say that whole spiel. But Rambly's Wrangler's registered. It's a registered trademark. That expired yesterday. <laughs> oh. Poor Rambly. Uh-oh. That Rambly's Wrangler's room is only accessible by Royal Wrangler. Got a few, though. Maybe one day you'll grow up big and strong enough to enter it. I already but am strong. No. But I'm not really. <laughs> the Rookie Wrangler security room. Wonder how many collectibles I have now then. I suppose I could try and find a uh, little kiosk thing, talk a rambly, and see how many I have. Speaking of, I am missing three. Not sure if there is is there something for getting all the collectibles, but maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Oh, we're at the Odyssey. Wow, you made it to Oceanic Odyssey. You're doing a great job, Rookie Wrangler. Didn't make nothing there. Into the aquarium. Find a puffer, it porpoises, pickles, and perches as far as the eye can see. Please don't tap the glass. You never really know what those kittens will snap in. Oh. Hello. Was it was it the end? Hey buddy! Uh. Okay. You look kinda tired. Do you need a moment? Don't worry, it's fine. I don't blame you for taking a rest after all that. Heck, I could go for a nice relaxing defragmentation myself. But before you settle down. You up for a little survey to help us improve the park? Thanks for visiting Indigo Park. Hope all your dreams came true. So I missed free collectibles. That's all right. Lark, stick around for the Rambly review. I'm here to offer my best to each valuable guest I assist. And lots of happy feedback ensures I get to exist. Let's try it. Were you satisfied with the rides? Yes or no. Were you satisfied with your guide? I sure hope so. Do you plan to come back? Will I see you again? Did your experience convince you to tell a friend about us? Did I earn your trust? At Indigo Park, there is a stark contrast to everything I know this place should be. So that was chapter one of Indigo Park. That was, that was really good. I really enjoyed that, actually. Good job, Unique Geese, and everyone who worked on this. Mysteries, even I don't know what we might find, but fight through the dark, and I'll be your spark of sunshine to get you out of any bind. That is, if you want to keep going. Oh, idea! I know all of this isn't fair to you, it's an awful lot to ask. But here comes Rambly Review Part 2 To sell you <laughs> on our task I'm here to view and assess Each valuable guest as I learn 
Oh, Patreon supporters. Feedback ensures you're gonna return. I'm so happy you rode a ride. I'm so happy to be your guy. So come back anytime. I'd love to see you again. In all my thousands of days, I've never had a friend like you. At least I hope I do. At Indigo Park, there is a stark contrast to everything I know this place should be. But out of the dark, you've given a spark of sunshine to this kingdom's faithful devotee. At Indigo Park, more than my remarks are mysteries, even I don't know what the dark and I'll be your spark of sunshine to get you out of any bind till all my old friends are united again and I won't feel so left behind okay I'll let you go see you next time buddy please <laughs> that was good that was good Thank you. Indigo Park is a full-on passion project that we've been working on for a little over a year now. The stories and world that we want to create with Rambly and his friends are very special to us, but with the scale of this game, we're going to need some help. If you enjoyed your experience with Chapter 1, consider supporting our socials if you want to see Chapter 2. No matter what happens, we hope you enjoyed your stay. Thanks for visiting Indigo Park. Mason, Rambly, and the dev team. Good job to you guys, and I do hope that things go well for the future of this game. Um... I really enjoyed that. That was a good first impression of that. Um, I think one thing I like is just the fact that you have Rambly around in the game. You kind of don't feel like you're on your own. And you feel like you have like a little companion with you at all times. And it adds a little bit of personality to like the characters in the world. And that's just something that I like um, with this game. Rambly is cool. I like his personality. Characters seem interesting, and I wonder where the story will go in uh, future chapters. I liked that a lot, um, and I definitely think I'll probably come back for chapter 2 if it comes out, if or whenever it comes out. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty good time. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, please do consider subscribing. But I have been Mummy, and I will catch you next time.